Ah, jeez, I totally forgot I put a pot of coffee on. Hope it's still good. Aw, oh, man, I forgot to start the dishwasher. Guess I don't have any clean mugs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what else I'm forgetting today. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to dispose of this. All right, it's time for the groom to pull the garter bell. All right, get down there, buddy. <laughs> All right. Woo! Ooh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> yep. There. There we go. There we go. Almost there. Almost there. Yep. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. That. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, back from your honeymoon, I presume? It was exquisite, Bernard. Truly a perfect start to our perfect marriage. This a ride for you, Master Henry. Mm. Oh, that must be our marriage license. <laughs> well, this isn't a marriage license at all. It's a restraining order. Oh, poo! I just grabbed a form and filled it out. I was in such a hurry. It, it says here we can't be within 25 yards of each other. That simply won't do. But we can't break the law. If I may offer a suggestion, sir. Very good, sir. I shall relay this to your wife. She has orgasmed, sir. <laughs> He was a good man. And a virile lover. Yes. Who are you again? Oh, you're, you're that, oh, uh, yes, from that of thing. Oh, yes, that's <laughs> right. Thank you! Oh, hey! Oh, stay down! Okay, stop. okay. Get him! It's not what it looks like. Seriously, walk that way. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Wow, that's nuts. See, it's just a Halloween mask, a coat, and a broom. <laughs> <laughs> And since then, he's just been shut down. Oh, yeah. He's emotionally unavailable. Hmm. I'm starting to think we've grown too far apart, that we would be better on our own. There are a lot of hurt feelings in this room. You're both talking and you're both hearing, but I don't think either of you is listening. I want you to try something. A little role play to help you understand each other's points of view. Steven, I know you're trying to get a promotion, but I want to have a million babies. I'm too scared to commit because I've been living under my mother's skull. I 
understand each other's points of view. Seen it ever touch? I've never seen it grow. I haven't been on it place. I'm too scared to commit because I've been living under my mother's skirt. No, no, no! Come on! Come on! You can't die on me! Don't you die on me now! I guess we won't get to go <coughs> on that fishing trip after all. Don't you say that! We're gonna get you out of here! I'm not going to make it! <coughs> I'm Lungshot. Tell my wife I'm not going to make it! <coughs> I'm long shot. No, Sarge. You're gonna pull through. You're gonna make it, and you're gonna walk up to her on your own two feet right out of here, and you're gonna tell her yourself. And also, she's standing right over there. It's not far. She and I <coughs> have been at odds lately. <coughs> Ever since she shot me in the lungs. Are you sure? All right. I'll go tell her. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, ma'am, but your husband is Longshot, and he's not going to make it. Well, you tell him that maybe after he's done dying, he can clean the garage like I've asked him to, uh, I don't know, a hundred times? Oh, okay. I'll go tell him. Sarge! Sarge, wake up! Sarge, stay with me! So your wife said that when you're done, um, dying, that you should clean the garage. Will you tell her? <coughs> I would love to if she hadn't shot me in the lungs. Um, yes, sir. I'll be right back. Uh, all right. He said well, that- Well, you tell him that if he's still dead by the time I get home from work, I'll kill him again. <sighs> all right. You wait right here. All right, Sarge. Now, she said that- Tell her <coughs> that- <coughs> She's a bitch! Okay, he says, cough, cough, gurgle. Well, you can tell him that if he doesn't get his bloody ass up, the all- <laughs> This is all your fault me? if you would just clean the garage like- What you would- me? You should clean the garage Me? Up. Are you oh, kidding you me? me? Right no, along. I cannot I believe you're bringing it There it is, there's the hole in my fingers isn't it? This oh. is just well, insane! Well, there's certainly your blood oh, everywhere. Johnny and Marissa sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes an abrupt and tragic miscarriage, then comes blame, then comes despair. Two hearts damaged beyond repair. Johnny leaves Marissa and takes the tree. D I V O R C E. <laughs> Okay, when we break the news to the kids, we need to do it in a way that doesn't make one of us seem like the bad guy. We need to let them know that we still love them. We just don't love each other. Yeah, you're right. But look, it's okay. I'll start the conversation. If they have any anger, it'll be towards me. They can't be mad forever. Really? Wow. Thank you, Brad. That's very mature of you. Well... They've always liked you more anyway. <laughs> Kids! Put your toys down for a minute. Your father and I... Your father and I have something to tell you. 
Kids, your mom and I love you very much. So very much. You are just the best kids in the gosh darn world, and we are so lucky to be your parents. And that's why I'm raising your allowance by five whole dollars! Yay! Yeah! Woo! Woo! What? Thank you, Daddy. You're the best dad ever. Brad, what are you doing? Kids, you're not getting a bigger allowance. Your father and I are getting a divorce. What? No! M Mom, why? Why are you doing this to us? Yeah, Mom, why? <laughs> you monster! 